What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Ultra Prism set preview video. We haven't done these in a while. I think we did one for the last set. Uh, but anyway, in this video, we're going to be previewing the Ultra Prism set, which pre releases start very soon. Dude, hold on, let me look. Let me look. Pre releases, at least in my area, have already started. They start tomorrow, I think. So they'll be happening this weekend. So I just want to kind of go over the cards and kind of what we have and. This isn't the screen that I had planned on starting on. This is the screen I planned on starting on. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through this. If you wind up enjoying what you're seeing here, consider hitting the subscribe button down below so we can grow the domination together. And if you're excited for Ultra Prism, go and hit the like button. I'm pretty excited about this set. Um, this set adds a new, uh, a new, what's it called? I almost said the word. A new function, a new, oh, I keep almost saying it, a new mechanic i guess is what i'm going for in the ultra prism card so and we're going to go through every card but for example you can see this little ultra prism logo here um and basically what that means is you can only have one of that card in your deck but they're pretty good from what i've seen i don't know we're going to go through all of these and read all about it so get comfortable because there's a hundred and there's not 100. There's 72 cards that we're going to go through and talk about. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. First up, we have this Yanma looking nice and normal. Super speed, 20 damage, flip a coin of heads, prevent all damage from his attack. Okay. Yan Mega. Uh, supersonic, 30 damage, a Pokemon. A, a, opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. I imagine this will be decent in our pre release format that we'll be doing this weekend. Um, next up, we have this Rosalia. Paddle Dance is three coins. Attack does 30 damage times number of head. And, go oh, this Pokemon is confused. Garbage, get it out of here. Then we have this Rosalia. I'm just looking to make sure everything's lining up like I expected to. But, we have Lure Poison. Switch one of your opponent's Pokemon with their active Pokemon. The active Pokemon is now poisoned. That could be decent. You might run that in the pre-release as well. That, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. And then... This set apparently plays really well on the fourth generation. So uh, we've already seen like Yan Mega. We've already seen, I think Roselia is, yeah, Roselia is definitely Gen 4. Or excuse me, Rose Raid. I knew that name was weird. Where's Badoo? Anyway, so we have this Turtwig. I like Turtwig. Turtwig's my favorite fourth gen starter. Uh, we have Synthesis, Attached Grass Energy. Okay, we have another Turtwig. I like this first Turtwig better. No, I don't. That's just the standard turt. Did they just copy paste this? What the heck? I can get that. This is actual artwork, so I definitely picked that one. It even has a, it even has a uh, a shadow there. This one is twenty damage. No, this one's better as far as the card goes. Then we have a Grotto, Mega Drain, thirty damage and heal thirty from this Pokemon, and then Torterra. Giga Drain, 50 damage. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. That makes perfect sense. And you have Earthquake for 4 energies. Does 100 damage. 20 to each of your bench Pokemon. Why just my bench Pokemon? Earthquake should do 20 to everything. Interesting. We got ourselves a, a Yarn Cherubi. There's always one of these in every set so far. Like, we've had it for a while. And we have Cherim. 30 damage. Now that's terrible. Each of your grass Pokemon has no weakness. So you could run this with like... What are you weak to? Fire? You could run this here and not worry about grass. That, that could be decent. That could, that could be something there. We got a little bit of a Carnivine here. Gobble. 20 damage. So the grass card so far is all about I'm taking your health for me. 90 minus. This attack does 10 damage less for each damage cat. Garbage. All right, we see our first GX, which looks amazing. This card looks freaking amazing. Nature's Breath. Once during your turn, before you attack, of course, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may heal 50 from one of your Pokemon with energy attached. You could heal from itself, I guess. Solar Beam does 110, and apparently you can just spam Solar Beam. For one energy, Grand Bloom GX. For each basic Pokemon on your bench, shoot your deck. Search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon. 
So if you have Leafeon out and a bench of basic Pokemon, you can use uh, Grand Bloom GX and you just get to evolve all of them. What if you had Eevee out on turn one and you used Wally to evolve to Leafy on turn one and then evolve your entire back row the following turn? Wait, what if you had. I knew that. Oh, I was so. I thought I could get it. Anyway, anyway, um. What if you had Eevee out, Wallied on turn one to evolve it to Leafeon? Oh wait, you can't, I mean, even if it's your first turn and had like say three Rowlets on the bench and they immediately all evolved and then the very next turn you could evolve them all again into Decidueye. There might be something here. There might be something here. Uh, where's my mouse? We have Mo Rotom. Uh, let's take a look at him. If there are nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore the attack costs of this Pokemon. So if you have nine or more tool cards, you can just do 60 damage always and discard a special energy. Okay. You got Terrible Shaman. Search your deck for three basic Pokemon of different types and search your deck. That's awful. All right, then we have Magmar. And worse Magmar. Actually, I guess I like Magmortar. Scorching Body, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, is damaged by attack. The attacking Pokemon is now burned. Fire Gun does 80 damage. You may discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. If you do this attack, does 80 more damage. So, you can do always 80, or you can discard 2 energies. That's a lot. We have Chimchar. The copy-paste Chimchar. Then we have Art Chimchar. We have Monferno. And we have Hollow Infernape. Infernape says, ability Hot-Blooded Hot Fighter. Your opponent's active Pokemon takes six damage counters from burn between turns. I was about to say, did the music just like... Shout out to this music. Anyway. Uh, your opponent's active Pokemon takes six damage counters from burn between turns. So you can, oh my gosh. If you burst punch, which only takes two energies, does 50, and your opponent takes six damage counters between turns. That's wild. That's so good. Anyway, next up is Rotom Heat. I don't like this Rotom. There are nine or more Pokemon tool cards. Oh, it's the same thing. I'm sure there's going to be some type of deck that you can make for, to use these Rotoms. To be able to use all of them. Salandit. Salazzle. Opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, poisoned, and confused. That's just rude. Your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition. This attack does 60 more damage. So does that mean... No, no, no. Okay. So it's 120. I was thinking to myself that maybe it would be... Uh, it would stack, so you hit it with that burning poison, get three damage, or get three special conditions. If it's still with all three of those the following turn, it would do like 240. We don't need that. We got Turtonator looking off. Look at all, look at it, look at him looking off. I like it, I like it. Burned. Next up we have Murkrow. <gasps> Oh, we have Murkrow, mean look, 10 damage, defending Pokemon, can't retreat. Then we have Honchkrow, um, yeah, sure. Snatch turn, discard a random card from your opponent's hand, switch to Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, moving on. We have a Sneasel card. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, it's my boy hanging out with Cyrus. Cyrus. The, e the most evil. I feel like Cyrus is the most evil. If you watch my LPs, you know this already. I think Cyrus is the most evil of the bad guys. Stealthy Smash. You can only use this attack if you go second and only on your first turn. Discard an entry card from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Ambush does a max of 30. All right. 
Weavile, please be just a little better. Let's take a look at you. Oh, is that a hollow Weavile card? I think it is. Icy Wind does 10. A Pokemon, uh, opponent's Pokemon is now asleep. Dark Command does 50 times the number of opponent's Pokemon with abilities. That's not bad. That's not bad. If this deck, if I could do something with this card, I might play TCGO. I, I don't like, I don't get this. Why do they put this up here? It's always the same image. Anyway, moving on. Stunky. Skuntank. Sticky smoke screen, 50 damage if the defending, defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn. Your opponent flips two coins. If either head, that attack does nothing. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty cool. I'll have to be looking out for that in the in the pre-release. Uh, Hammer in does 100 damage. All right, first Ultra Prism card. First off, these Ultra Prism cards are gorgeous. Look at the artwork here. Oh my, look at it. Look at it right here. Wait, hold on. Look at it right here. See that? That's amazing. I love it. All right, let's read about this. Can't have more than one Prism Star with the same name. If a Prism Star is discarded, put it in the Lost Zone. Oh, wow. Ability Nightmare Star. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may attach two dark energies from your hand to this Pokemon. Abyssal Sleep does 120. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Your opponent flips two coins instead of one between turn. If either of them is tails, that Pokemon is still asleep. That's so good if you can get four dark energies, which it would just take two turns because you would put it down and it would go two and then you would do add one one turn, add one the next turn. Alolan Diglett. Wait, is that a... Flip a coin to get Tails. This attack does 10 damage. If this was Pokemon Duel, the mobile game, that'd probably be broken. Alolan Doug Trio. I don't like this Pokemon. I don't like this Pokemon. Gold Rush. Discard... Gold Rush! Shout out to Digimon. Discard as many metal energies as you like from your hand. Attack does 30 damage for each from your hand. Attack does 30 damage for each discard energy discarded this way. What if you did... That's why it only has 60 hit points. What if you did some Typhlosion shenanigans with this and you were just milling? Wild. All right, we got some Magnemites in here. Why do we have multiple Magnemites? Why do I have multiple Magnemites, but not an Empoleon? This is the copy-paste one. The artwork one went first this time. That one's way better. We have Magneton. And we have a Hollow Magnezone. Actually looks really cool. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Metal Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. This is just going to make... This is just going to make Metagross... Is Metagross still the thing? I don't know, but this is going to complement Metagross really well. Wait, no. Metagross doesn't need help. Hold on. Hold on one second. I don't want to be, like, super ignorant, so let me just, let me just do this. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic or Metal Energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. So if you have those out, you can attach, you can bring from your discard pile, and you can go from your hand. That's crazy. All right, next up we have Shield On. A 100 hit point Shield On. Oh, I'm using this in pre-release. You're not taking me down. I'm getting all kinds of setup on you. We have ba a Hollow Bastiodon. Earth Shield. Prevents all, prevents all damage done to your metal Pokemon from the attacks of your opponent with any special energy attached to them. Whoa! That's crazy. Wow. Hold on. Let me, let me, again, I don't want to be, I don't want to be ignorant here. Okay, imagine that you start the game with shield on okay and your opponent starts whatever they're doing and they attach special energies onto whatever they're doing and you evolve here 
you can Guzma forward another Pokemon that maybe has special energy on it, and this is sitting in the back, and your opponent can now not attack them. Wow. Oh, we got Bronzor. We got Bronzong. Cybolt, 20 damage, flip a coin of heads, active Pokemon's now paralyzed. Or Psychic Resonance, which does 60 plus. If your Pokemon has, if your opponent has any Psychic Pokemon in play, this attack does 60 more damage. Okay. We have a Hollow Heatran. Heatran is weird to me. I get it, but it's, it's weird to me. I don't know. Two energies, guard press, 30 damage. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn is reduced by 30, okay? Other impact, 130, discard two energy. All right, irrelevant. Here's our next. We have a Solgaleo Ultra Prism. Or Prism Star, excuse me. Rising Star. For each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a metal energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Four energies is 160 a Pokemon can attack. So not quite as good. We have Dusk Mane Necrozma, which is an Ultra Beast basic Pokemon. Can go Plus slash, 60 damage for four energies, which could take just one turn if you're lucky. Meteor tip. So imagine you have two energies in your hand, one or two energies in your hand, and you have a Magnezone on the field. You can Magnezone both of those. You can Sycamore if you have a Sycamore, get a whole new hand and continue attaching energies. You could attack Meteor Tempest, 220 damage. Discard three energy from this Pokemon. Yeah, sure. Cool. Whatever. Fine. I guess. I guess I'll do that. I'll just use my freaking Metagross to pull him back. Oh my gosh. Eclipse Sun GX. 250. Attack can only be used if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. All right. Next, we got Dialga, a dragon type. My, uh, clock up. Draw cards do you have six hand in your hand. So for a metal energy. Wait! That's awesome. I like that. He's a dragon type, but he uses metal energies. Shred. I'm pretty sure that's what the old Dialga's card was. Oh, who's a, who's a, uh, uh, whose attack was Shred? I don't remember, but... Five energies, 150 damage. Once this turn is over, it's your turn again. <laughs> once your turn, once this turn is over, it's your turn again. That's Imagine you use this move and you take out a GX card. You'll have five energies on. Just imagine you have something else set up where you can retreat three energies to the discard pile. Oh my god, metal is broken. Let's continue. I'm disgusted by this lick a tongue. We have licky licky, lick to death. 50 plus, flip a coin so you get tails. Attack does 50 more damage for each heads. If the first coin flip is tails, your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. I'm using this in my, in the pre-releases. Like, why would I not? Here's the EV, sure, yeah, whatever, okay. Now we have Glammeow, and one of the worst Pokemon. I mean, I get it. You need, you need a Garfield something something. Master of the house, 20 damage. Discard your opponent's stadium. Okay, and uh, prevent everything from your opponent's turn, no, from your opponent's attack next turn. We have Fan Rotom, which is a normal type for some reason. Oh, because it's flying, got it. Uh, 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon for three energies. 
Uh, Tapu Koko is still a thing. We have another Oranguru. Uh, this might only be the second one. Resource management. Put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order you like. 60 damage. Confused. We got a potion. A mysterious fossil. Oh, that's for shield on? Oh, I'm stupid. That makes sense as to why he's 100 hit points. Palpaz, shuffle two supporter cards from your discard pile into your deck. Nest Ball, Pokemon Catcher, Missing Clover. You may play either one Missing Clover or four Missing Clover at the same time. If you play one Missing Clover, look at the top card of your deck, then return to the top of your deck. If you play four Missing Clover at the same time, take a prize card. Whoa! Whoa! If you get four clover, oh, because it's a okay, because it's a four leaf clover. Cyrus Prism Star. I'm scared to read this. This card can only be used if your active Pokemon is water or metal. Your opponent chooses two of their bench Pokemon, then shuffles their other bench Pokemon, and all cards attach them into their deck. They get to keep two. Gardenia looks like a better... Uh, Gardenia looks like a better Pokemon Center lady. Pokemon Fan Club. Mars. She look Anyway, draw two cards, then discard a random card from your opponent's hand. That's cool. Got another Lily. We get it, Game Freak. We get it. Mount Coronet. Oh, that's a stadium card. Once during each player's turn, that player... No, no, no! That player may put two metal energy from their discard pile into their hand. Oh my gosh! You put down this stadium. You use Magnazone's ability to feed Dusk Main Necrozma. And you're killing everything. Because it doesn't matter. You're only going to be, you'll be gaining, or you'll be losing one metal energy per turn. Why? We got another DCE. I love this DCE. I think this is the best looking DCE, period. I love that DCE. Unit Energy GRW. The car, this card provides colorless energy. This card is attached to the Pokemon. This card provides grass, fire, water, but only one at a time. Uh, it looks like we also, what's this? Oh my gosh, there's more. I was pacing this as if this was it. Oh, snap. All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta figure out. Well, Ooh, this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but let's continue. Here we go. Here we go. First, we have a Lowen Sandshrew who's looking. I, I like this. This is really cool. What's Sandslash look like? Okay, Sandslash doing his thing. Spike armor, which is no attack or no energy. 30 damage. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack during your opponent's next turn, play six on the attacking Pokemon. Spike armor. I didn't even read the I didn't even read what it was called. That's actually not bad. I could see that for no energy, you're doing 30 and if you get attacked, they do you they get 6 damage. It's not bad. Now, here's our copy paste Piplup and our actual Piplup. Why are the English sets always so freaking big? Can never complete a set cuz well, I don't I ain't got the money to do it, but Here's Empoleon. Beginning of the song is so fire. Anyway, this is the Empoleon we asked for earlier. It says total command 20 or 20 times. That's 20 times the number of Pokemon on each player's bench. Okay, we see that all the time. Whirlpool, discard one energy from your... Okay, nice. 
Weasel. Lotzel. Difficult. Okay. Nothing too bad there. Snover. My boy! Obama Snow. I like Obama Snow. I had a shiny Snover slash Obama Snow slash Mega Obama Snow in Pokemon X in my original playthrough. Uh, ability Blessing of the Frost Covered Trees. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one Pokemon during your turn, you may attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Okay. We have Glaceon, which looks oddly similar to the last Glaceon that we had, right? Am I just dreaming? Am I just dreaming? I guess Glaceon always looks like Glaceon. Never mind. Alright, what do we got? As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each of your opponents, EX and GX in play, in their hand and in their discard pile, have no abilities. So, locking abilities, isn't that what it used to do? No, it would prevent damage from evolution Pokemon. Okay, got it. We have Wash Rotom. Attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We have Frost Rotom. 10 plus attack does 20 for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. That could be good. That could be good. We got a Manaphy. Not hollow, terrible Manaphy apparently. Search your discard pile for five water energy. Show them to your opponent, then shuffle them into your deck. Okay, simple enough. We have any we didn't have any fire types in this set. Or however, whatever it sounded like. We got Electivire. My god, I like Electivire too. 3 energy, 60 damage. If it's a metal Pokemon, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Shinx? This Pokemon can evolve. This Pokemon can evolve the turn it was played. If it's the first turn of the player going second. So it can't... That's that's great. I like that they added that last bit. Because then you can't have a Luxray by turn one. Or by turn two. What's up with this copy-pasting thing that they're doing? Look at this artwork. Look at the effort it took here. There was no effort put in... The, I could have made this. Maybe. Alright, we got ourselves a hollow howling at the... Oh, God, that's an Ultra Wormhole. Whoa. Intimidating fan, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your Pokemon's at As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon's attack to 30 less damage. Oh, it's Intimidate. Discard all lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 150 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Snipe. Pachirisu. For each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, for each of your bench Pokemon with a nuzzle attack, search your deck for lightning energy and attach to that Pokemon. We have Basic Rotom. 120 damage. Okay, sure. Let's move on. We got Drifloon, the Yarn Drifloon. We got Drifblim. Damage Transport. Move four damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. For a colorless energy. Whoa. Spirit Tomb. There's a discard pile for two supporter cards. Eh, there's a card that if there's an item card that can do that, I'm good. Scorupi and Drapion, 100 damage, paralyze and poison for four energies. That's a lot of energy. We got my, my another one of my boys, Crow Gunk, and a Toxic Crow. Poison jab, 30 now poisoned. Settle the score, 50 damage. If each of your, if any of your fighting Pokemon were knocked out from an attack during your opponent's last turn, attack does 70 more. Oh, so it's a revenge attack, does 120. Giratina, Prism Star. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may attach two psychic energies from your hand to this Pokemon. So it's the same, pretty much the same thing as Darkrai. Darkrai. We got a Hollow Cresselia. For one Psychic Energy, discard an energy from this Pokemon. Switch all damage counters with those on your act opponent's active. 
Psychic 60 plus. 20 more times the amount of energy attached to your poke opponent's active Pokemon. Then we have Lunala Prism Star. Full Moon Star for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. And then we have Ultra Necrozma. Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. Invasion. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it. You may switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it's like stand in. It's like uh, the Zorark stuff. Flash of Darkness does 120. Isn't affected by resistance. Eclipse Moon does 180. And can only be used if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So, you smack him. You're probably going to kill whatever it is. And then you get to... You're safe for a turn. Granidos. Rampardos. Ooh, Hollow Rampardos. Clean hit. 60 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, does 60 more. So, does 120 to everyone that gets in the way. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it's knocked out. So if it's a GX card and you switch it in and have three energies on it, gone. We got Riolu. I feel like I've seen this Riolu before as well. Lucario, hollow Lucario. Once during your turn, you, if you have Garchomp in play, you may search your deck for one card and put it into your hand. Oh, we'll get to it in a second. Hippopotas and Hippowdon. Sandtomb does 50, can't retreat. 100 does 10 more for each energy and your, and your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So it might do like 110, 120, 130. Another Passimian. As long as this Pokemon's on your bench, each of, each of your Passimian's attacks does 30 more damage. And eh, still, still useless. We have Gibble. We have Copy Paste Gibble. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it on this Pokemon. So he evolves himself. The next turn, you get Garchomp. All right, so we got Gabite. And he can do the same thing. He can evolve as well. Look at that! <gasps> Cynthia's in the background, the best champion. Quick Dive, for two energies, attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Champion's Blade, 100 plus. If you played Cynthia from your hand during this turn, the attack does 100 more. But you could do 200 damage. And we have Palkia, the dragon type that uses water. Move any number of energy cards from your bench Pokemon. Spatial control moves energies to this Pokemon. Hydro pressure, 60 plus. There's 20 more for each energy attached to this Pokemon. I feel like that's going to be really good. Uh, what's its weakness? Fairy, okay. Zero Vanish GX, 150. Your opponent shuffles all energy attached to their Pokemon into their deck. Got another Eevee, same Eevee. Got a Buneri. Got a Lopunny. You may shuffle this Pokemon all card. Oh, okay. So it's like a U-turn. We have Good Shaman, which is a terrible Shaman. Call for family. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon. Put them on your bench, then shuffle your deck. Young Goose! My voice. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Gumshoes! Track down 20 plus. The opponent reveals their hand if there are any Pokemon. Does 80 more. So it just does 100 pretty much. Colorless Drampa. Hollow. Outrage does 20 plus 10 for each damage counter on this Pokemon. His usual. Dragon Pulse discards the top two cards from your deck. Alright, we got an order pad. Flip a coin if head, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. 
then shuffle your deck. So you trainer, and you go get a trainer, reveal it, put it into your hand, and probably use that. Crushing Hammer, we know what that does. Mysterious Fossil, we know what that does. Ultra Ball, we know what that does. Looker's Whistle, I will never use this. Search your deck for two Looker cards. You won't catch me dead. Absolutely not. Escape Board. Attach, uh, attach, what? The retreat cost of the Pokemon is one energy less. This Pokemon may retreat while asleep or paralyzed. Cynthia, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. So it's a personal N that guarantees six cards. I feel like Cynthia might turn into being the thing. We got Volkner, search your deck for an item card and a lightning energy, reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. This fool, draw three cards from the bottom of your... Or Ranguru. Put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order you like. Alrighty. That's that that has some some synergy for sure. All right, then we have Full Art Volkner and Full Art Looker. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, there should be some more. All right. So, this is what... Oh, gosh, you can barely see that. Actually, I just remembered I could do this. This is what all of our stuff's going to be looking like. All the pack arts. I know it's blurry, but you'll live. The Elite Trainer Box stuff. There's this. For Dawn Wings. We got these. Sleeves. Got some nice dice. Got some of that. These, these look really good. These look really, really good. All right. Um, here's what I want to do. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. I, I want to be able to find... We didn't even look at these because it didn't have all of them. But we have Full Art Gardenia and Full Art Mars. Full Art Mars looks great. Um, okay. I can't exactly find what I'm looking for. Um... I was hoping to show, um, I was hoping to show the, uh, I'm blanking, the rest of the full arts, but uh, it, cannot, it does not seem I can find them. So um, these are the promos that we had for this set. Uh, so you have Wash Rotom, Lucario, Heatran, and Gumshoes. Uh, I don't know which one's gonna be the best. This this is terrible. This one, I guess it'll be one of these two. No, it'll probably be Gumshoes because he can just hit for a hundred, just right away like that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna go ahead and be it for this video. Let me see if I can if I can end this with a a nice a nice picture here. Nope, it went right back to the same thing. Anyway, we'll we'll finish up where we started out. The set's going to be huge. It's going to be another 150 card set. But that pre-release starts tonight slash this weekend. And I hope you'll enjoy. Like I said, I am going to be going to a couple of pre-releases. So we might do like a little wrap-up video. Um, talking about our pulls from there, etc, etc. Again, if you wind up enjoying this very long video. Much longer than I had anticipated. Uh, make sure you just consider subscribing. Consider subscribing so we can grow this domination and spread positivity all over the internet and we'll see you for the next video until then spread some positivity be the light and have a blessed day